Hello, and welcome back to Eclipse RP. So today, um, we have a lot in our salary since I haven't taken that out in literally probably a couple weeks. So it's just gonna kind of been uh, building up from welfare and such. So I have 102k, as you can see in the top left, in the uh, salary. And I haven't been doing any jobs. It's literally just all been just from overtime accumulating. I just haven't took it out. And we also have 37k in our bank. But what I think I'm going to do, also all of the cars from the last episode sold except for one of the Warriners, which should sell soon, but all the rest of them sold, so I think four, I think, yeah, we sold three Warriners, and I believe the uh, Cabrioso, I think is how it's called, I'm not sure, but I think that's all we sold, which is pretty good, I mean, again, I think this is only two days after recording that one, so they all sold within two days. But I think what we're going to do now is go buy a new car, actually. Um, so right now we have the Dominator, but I think I might get the Dominator GTX. Again, it's not a huge upgrade, but it's a pretty decent upgrade from where we are. Um, again, our car is not horrible. It's still pretty good. And I do like the handling on it, even though it's kind of weird. Um, just because of it's just from the drift and stuff like that with it. So I think the Dominator GTX is kind of similar. It can also still do wheelies, like our old car, so that's pretty cool. It's just a fun thing. Um, and the one I've been looking at, there was a guy who literally just listed it, I think, 10 minutes ago. And it actually has fully upgraded, like, except for, I think it's just a single turbo instead of a twin turbo. And then it's the suspension stock, but the rest of it is fully modded. Um, again, we can probably sell our Dominator um, R1, since it is half upgrade. I think it's 3 out of 5 on pretty much everything and then it also has a turbo I think we can sell that probably for 50 to 65 um, so this one that we're looking at is I believe 140 let's make sure we don't get a ticket um, I think it's 142 K and the thing about that is that stock goes for 130 K and it's fully upgraded probably I think it's like a hundred thousand dollars in mods or something so it's fully upgraded for us so we might as well pick it up um, again, just like the Dominator, we can flip this in the future. If we don't want it, we can probably sell it for a higher price, or at least at the very least get our money back. But I'm gonna go, gr let's go grab our salary real quick, actually. Alright, here we are. Oh, shit, the bank's closed. Alright, well, we're gonna have to wait for, I think it's like two hours. Oh, shit, this is gonna take a while for the bank to open. It's gonna be quite a while, a ways from now. But I think what we're going to do is go, because we do have some drugs in our house that I never sold. So I'm going to go pick those up, sell them uh, real quick. And then I think we should be able to come back here. It should be around that time. It opens up at 8. It's 2.26 right now. But again, in-game time is just one-fourth of added game time. But I guess we'll see. Um, again, let's just go sell these drugs real quick. Again, I think I have some in my apartment. Uh, let's go check real quick, see if we do. Because I believe I had some left over. All right, let's see. Believe we do. If I remember. All right, we have 12 crack, 8 heroin. That should sell for a little bit. At least enough to get us that last couple grand we need for it. Uh, let's go quickly sell this. Oops, not locked door. Actually, yeah, it's locked doors. The doors before we leave. Um, so we're going to probably go sell this real quick. Probably it's strawberry. Um, and I'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. Alright, we're going to drop off our stuff real quick. Um, also, while I was coming on the way over here, um, I was looking for all the dealerships. Oh, that's just nothing really. Um, I was looking for all the dealerships to see um, what it was for sale for. And it was actually for sale for the amount he said, 130k on all dealerships. But there was one dealership that was selling it for 125k. So I'm going to go, and if he's still there, I'm going to see if I can talk him down by 5k, or at least like two or three grand since he did tell me it was 130k stock and it's 125 from a dealership so we're gonna go talk to him real quick see if we can get the price tag go down a little bit um actually we're gonna fill up as well but either way uh, i'll catch up with you guys when we're hopefully gonna be buying the bike or the car my bad but i'll see you guys very soon all right so i actually totally forgot that we don't have our salary yet since the bank is not open, but I'm going to go quickly go back to the high end and see if I can talk to him and see if I can have him either one, uh, save it for me or figure something out because I do want to buy it, uh, for sure. So I guess we'll see. Um, I'm probably going to go, 
I don't know. I think we're just going to go back to the bank or just go around and do something. Uh, I'm going to go probably talk to him at high end real quick, though, to see if he can hold it for me. If not, I get it, but we're going to go check real quick. And I might show you guys that or not. It's probably not going to be interesting. And I actually doubt he's still there because he was only there for a little bit when I got there. I think he was there for like 10 minutes. So hopefully he's still there. But if not, um, I don't know. I'm just going to go check it out, go talk to him for a bit, and we'll see what happens. What up, homie? How's it going? So, are you still down for the dominating? Yeah, I just gotta wait for my salary, man. I think I'm gonna get it. Alright, my brother. Although, I did find the a stock price that was 125 instead of 130. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I didn't know that, actually. I yeah, thought it was yeah. all 130, because I, I, I looked at, like, three dealerships. Yeah, four out of the like five were 130, yeah. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, but still, like, even, even 120, like, for five grand less than the, the cheapest 142 is still like yeah yeah man yeah 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 it's, it's uh instead of okay so instead of 12k on top of stock it's 18k on top of stock for something that is worth 110k so yeah so, i mean i guess so i guess so yeah actually i don't think there's any point in trying to haggle this guy i mean he's gonna have to relist it which would be another 1500 yeah another 1500 so it's not even worth it so I think we're just gonna go wait till our salary is ready, and then we should be able to pick this up. All right. So I thought it would be kind of a uh, cool idea, and probably a good idea as well, to um, take out. Uh, first, oh shit, which one's mine? This one? Nope, this one. All right. But um, what I thought we would do is take out our Dominator uh, before we buy our new one and test out like uh some of the like zero to 120 time maybe it might be a little hard to do that one um but at least test the uh top speed and compare it to the new one once we buy that so we're gonna go to actually the probably here is probably the best place to test the top speed of it like the most uh consistent so we'll be able to compare it because if we test it on the highway there's like uphills and downhills, so it would be kind of a little bit harder to test that. So we're gonna go test this on the race or the dragway at the airport real quick and test what we can find out what the top speed is. And then once we get our new car, which is also a lot more upgraded than this one, this one's three out of five everything and single turbo, I'm pretty sure. And the other one's upgraded everything except for suspension. And I think it's also a single turbo, but again, it's also a much better base car. So we're going to quickly, let's just make sure we don't get rammed. We're going to quickly head over to the airport to test out the top speed. And I will catch up with you guys very soon. Alright, so we are finally at the airport. Um, the thing I'm going to do is test this gigantic runway out. I uh, should be able to start from back here. Then we can also do the same exact test on the, actually no, we're going to start over there, not over here. Cause that one, I think those will mess me up as well. But let's start it from over here, and then we can also test the uh, GTX out once we get that in the same exact way. All right, so let's test the top speed right now. Uh, also, the GTX can also wheelie, which is kind of cool. Are these gonna mess me up? No. All right. So let's see what we can get to on this straight, um, and then test it out with when we buy our new one. Cause I think we're gonna keep this for a while. Uh, if I need the money, I might sell it. But for now, I think we're gonna keep it. Alright, we got to 6 finally, 176, 177, 178, 170, almost 180, are we going to be able to stop? Oh, we did. Um, so I'd say like around 180, uh, we can test it going back as well, although I think we have less runway, but let's test it from here. So it looks like 180 is going to be the top speed, oh that was a bad launch, looks like 180 is another bad launch, come on. There we go. Alright, looks like 180 is going to be the top speed. But let's just try one more time, see if we can get a little bit higher. Alright, there we go. 150. 160. Almost 170. There we go. It looks like we're probably going to get around the same. 183. Yeah, it definitely tops out at 183. Alright, so our top speed in the Dominator, the regular one, is 183. Uh, so now we have that to compare so we can test out the times or the top speed of the new one we get uh, We can also test out a 0 to 120 although I think actually yeah, never mind that'd be a little bit hard to do 
Because I have to do the same exact launch and everything as well. So it'd be a little bit harder to replicate when I get the new car. But I just wanted to test it out now so we have like a base figure for what this car is. And then we can also compare it to the new one we get, which is the uh, also more upgraded car and the higher spec one. So this is the Dominator. The other one's the Dominator GTX. It's a little bit different. It's just like a modern one, I think. Uh, where's the way to get out of here? But we're going to go, hopefully, it's almost about 6 a.m. right now. In game time, of course. Uh, so it should, we shouldn't have too much longer to wait. I think we're just gonna probably just hang around or I might go do something else. And then I'll cut back once this is over. Huh, this is interesting. But hopefully we're going to be able to grab our salary and then go pick up the car. And then test the top speed on that car as well. So we can compare the two. It should be faster. If it's not faster, I'm selling it right away. But, uh, if this thing would open. But I'm going to do that, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Alright, so the bank is finally open. We're finally going to take our salary. We have 103 k in salary. And I believe we're also the lowest tax bracket. So let's finally claim this. This has been here probably for weeks. I've just been letting it grow. Let's claim that. Alright, we only paid 2 k in income taxes. Now what are we up to? 150 k That's more than enough to buy the car. We actually might be able to do a spoiler or something small as well we can put on it probably. So let's go head over to the high end and I'll meet you guys over there. Alright, we're just about there now. It is raining. So when we do our top speed test, if it's still raining, it might affect it. But we can at least get kind of an idea of what it will be from that it's still. Alright, let's make sure it's still for sale. I believe it was over here. It is still for sale. It's still 142. All right, sweet. I think we're gonna pick this up again. The uh, stock, the cheapest one. It's only from one dealership. It sells this cheap. It is 125k. This one's fully upgraded. Uh, only oh, one turbo. Oh, this is oh, the guy I was talking to. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm picking it up right now. Oh, okay. okay. It's good doing business with you. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, no I'll problem, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah, I man. hope you know, right? It's a good deal, right? Wait, hold on. Before you buy it, it's a good deal. What that car sucks, peed. It does? Is it worse than the regular Dominator? Dude, just. I would not recommend it either. Listen, it's a good uh, deal, but the car sucks. See, this guy, I'm not trying I to think, rush I your think, deal, no, right? Listen, I think, but it's I not think a good deal. Oh, shit. I believe nah. you're, this is coming from a guy part of a car, uh, part of a car game. I mean, here. I own the Peed Dominator, a, like. Hey man, if you want to buy it, buy it, but it's not. Whoa, good. is it worse than the regular? It's not worse. Like he's oh kind of shit. Over, no, he's over, over exaggerating. It's a it's a good car. Like he's the thing is like high speed <laughs> this car. You kind of need to be like better at controlling it. But it's it's he's over exaggerating. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't even care. Honestly, I'm just gonna flip this, this car probably I've in a week. Had both I'll it's probably just flip it. Regular. All right, man. I honestly don't care because I like how they drive. Yeah, They're yeah. fun cars. They don't drive as well, but they're a lot more fun. Alright, screw it. We're gonna buy it. Alright, I think we're gonna... Uh, let's just get this guy's name. Junior Chevy. Alright, I like it. Alright, man. You have a good day. Alright, let's buy this. Three, two, one. Boom. Nope, that's the wrong button. Wait, what? Oh, shit. I right, never mind. Uh, it's purchase vehicle? Well, it's like, what is it? That was buy vehicle. Alright, never mind. I did buy car. Alright, so we're gonna buy this now. Um, I think, even though, like I said, like there's drawbacks with it, I know that. But again, I'm just trying to upgrade from our regular Dominator. Either way, it's definitely gonna be better. And if it isn't, then again, we can just flip it anyway, since it's a good price. So we're just buy this. Alright, let's test this out now. Let's see how it feels off the start. Alright, I like the exhaust. Alright, I can already tell it's a little bit faster for sure. Oh, it handles similar. It actually handles a little bit better than mine. Um, This definitely handles a lot better than it. Again, these cars are a lot worse at handle. Ooh, that was a little... I think it's just because of the rain, maybe? But, again, the muscle cars are not going to be the best of handling, but in my opinion, they're a little bit more fun, and I'm not really too worried about getting the fastest top speed. This thing definitely does feel a little weird, though. 
Um, but let's just go to the airfield and test it out and see what the top speed is. Alright, so just in the drive over here, I noticed it's a lot different. Um, the handling's a lot weirder. It handles kind of, I don't know, it handles really weird compared to the regular Dominator. See how it drifts. Drifts a lot different than the other Dominator as well. Um, it's alright. It just feels really weird. It feels really, um, I don't know, really, I don't know how to explain it. Turns really weirdly, I guess. I have no idea. Actually, I think it has better handling than the regular Dominator, though. Um, Alright, so let's test it on the straight and see if we can hit. I think the last one was 183 was the top speed. So let's see if we can get more than that. Oh, no, we tested it over from over there. But it seems like this is a lot slower, at least the top speed-wise. I think the acceleration is a little better. But let's line this up correctly. Alright, and this does also do the wheelies, so we're going to test that out as well. Alright, so let's go and test. Alright, there's our good start. And let's see if we can get it past 183. This is the upgraded version, so it should be able to. It's getting a little weird here at top speeds, though. 165. Damn, it is not really going that fast. 66. Damn, the top speed is like literally 14, like, oh my god. Damn, that's kind of disappointing. So the top speed is a lot less, but it does, I'm pretty sure it handles a lot better though. It definitely handles a lot better. Let me go do some turns. It definitely does handle a lot better, but it's just a lot slower. Um, again, it's not, let's see if we can drift it around this. It's not by that much. It definitely grips a lot better though than the Dominator. So I go into a drift, I can get out of it pretty fast. And then it handles pretty good after. But it just feels a little, I don't know, it feels really weird. It's really hard to explain it. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to get used to that. But I don't know. I'm not sure if we're gonna sell this. Again, if we do wanna sell it, we can most likely make a profit on it since it is basically fully upgraded except for the suspension, I believe. Um, I don't think that wouldn't change top speed though, at least I don't think so. There wouldn't be a reason for it to, but I think uh, it's going to be about it for this video. It's a little bit of a disappointing ending, but hopefully we can figure out what this thing's strengths are. I already know that it does handle a lot better. It has a wait, let me test the braking. The brakes are also... Yeah, the brakes are like a 10 times better than the... Uh, <laughs> did not mean to do it that time. They're 10 times better than the uh, Dominators, they're a lot better. This is also fully upgraded, again, except for suspension. But, yeah. I mean, I think it was it was an alright purchase. Either way, we can just sell it. We're probably going to end up selling it in like a week, just because that top speed is a lot lower. Uh, this does handle a lot better, though. I can already feel it. So if it was for like any actual kind of like skills track, or something like that, or in like a city, like going around places and stuff, it should win, but... The Dominator just definitely has a lot better uh, top speed. This is definitely an alright purchase for us. Um, that's pretty much all our money though, unfortunately. We got eight grand almost in the bank, and I believe uh, I have another Warner for sale, which should be another 14k on top of our 8k, but still we're pretty much broke. Um, we might end up either selling our old Dominator or flipping this. Because again, we can definitely flip this, it's a good price. Uh, we got a pretty good deal. Um, but I think that's going to be about it for this episode. In the next one, I'm hoping that we're going to be finally joining the Wanted. Um, I'm trying to do some stuff off camera with them uh, and try and get more known in their gang and stuff. And obviously just figure out how they work. But until then, I think that's going to be about it. So if you enjoyed, leave a like. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.